What's up guys, Marco here. It has been a while since my last video, but today I'm back with a new interesting video about Google Ads. And this is especially for those of you guys who are insecure about how much money do you really need for Google Ads, like what budget do you need to get started? How can you use those different Google Ad products such as Display, Search, Shopping, YouTube? In this video, I want to really give you a good overview on the actual cost of Google Ads, how much do you need for each of them, what is like a, a budget that really makes sense. So I hope that you will get a lot of value out of this. Let's get started. So a lot of people ask me all the time, how much money do I need for Google Ads? And you know, how much money do I need for shopping versus search, etc. Generally, when you run an e-commerce business, there is a hierarchy of things that make the most sense for you, okay? So there's like a hierarchy of low-hanging fruits and it, start with, it starts with um, shopping, which is the easiest for you to, to make sales with, then usually search, then usually, then it gets like tough. Sometimes display, sometimes YouTube, but one of them is normally third and the other one fourth, okay? So shopping, if you are an e-commerce business, is the thing that you should go into first, where you will make sales most, most likely. This is also the platform or the, the Google ad product that is usually the most expensive. Why? Because people are actively looking for products, you can filter them properly. And uh, this means that, of course, other advertisers are looking forward to advertise in that great environment too, right? So here, depending on the niche, you pay anything from like 10 cents if you're super, super, super lucky or doing a great job, all the way up to literally two, three, four dollars, right? I would say the average if you advertise in the United States, if you're on a shopping ad, is probably 50, 60, 70 cents. So you see, clicks are not super expensive depending on where you are, but they are definitely, you know, especially when you go into high ticket niches or very competitive markets, you easily spend a dollar per click or more. Now this means that if you want to run a good ad test, if you want to test a lot and if you want to like try things out, you need a budget of the very least, I recommend like 20 bucks a day. With 20 bucks a day, you can run some okay tests, you can get some data on products. Ideally, you have 25 or $30 a day that you can, you know, let run for one or two weeks or longer. But this really gives you at least some data to play with. Now, if you are in a niche where your click prices are very hard to, uh, where it's very hard to get them below like $1 or $1.50, then even a $20 budget, of course, will not be very helpful for you because getting like, you know, 10, 20 clicks a day takes a very long time for you to get some really insightful data and sales, etc. So in this case, depending on what niche you're in, you might have to spend easily like $50 or more a day to get some data relatively quick. So for shopping, usually you can get started with as low as $300 net spent, right, in an ad budget. I would definitely say that's the low end, even though your clicks, even if your clicks are not too expensive, all the way up to, let's say, one or $1.5,000 in ad budget. So between 300, 1.5K, depending on the niche, depending on how fast you want results. Um, but this is like the bare minimum, okay? That's what you have to keep in mind for shopping, in my opinion, because you will see, you, you know, making sales in shopping is the easiest out of all these platforms. It is also money very well spent. That's something that you always have to keep in mind. Number two then is Google search. And here things look a little bit different. First of all, click prices may be very similar to shopping. Sometimes they're even more expensive. Usually they're a little cheaper. However, the point is here you have way more control. Why? Because you can bid on individual keywords, right? Let's, sell, let's say you sell like a, um, let's say you sell a drone. Very common example over here. Um, let's say you sell a drone and you have a lot of keywords like buy a drone online or where to buy a drone or just drone, just like that, right? You can bid individually, at least if you use the manual CPC bidding strategy, you can bid individually on each and every keyword. So you can say, okay, buy a drone online is worth $1.50 for me. Drone just like that is only worth like 50 cents, right? Because it's less um, targeted at this point. So with search, you can really bid individually, which makes you able to spend your budget and your bids way more effectively. With shopping, you just have to say, okay, I bid $1 for this product or $1 for this entire campaign per product. And now give me some clicks. And you don't really have full control on what you're actually showing up for. Now with search, you can really make that clear. You can tell Google, give me that type of clicks, give me that search queries, give me these things. You may end up spending a similar amount, maybe a little bit lower, but because it's so more, so much more targeted, um, it's actually a little easier for you to get the right queries. Now that doesn't mean that you get more conversions. Google shopping most of the time is still more effective when it comes to selling products, but you know, whether you're selling physical products or something else, whether you're selling services or whatever, search can help you get those perfect 
customers to your store and you can estimate the budget much, much better. So here, similar thing as on, on shopping, I believe you need like 300 all the way up to 1K, 1.5K um, to run a very long test, to run, to try a bunch of things, try multiple products, multiple ad groups, multiple ads. Um, that's where you can really get started with 300 if you have a very sort of non-competitive cheap niche and more towards 1k 1.5k if you have to spend like one dollar per click 150 per click maybe even more if you're selling like very expensive items okay but all in all less effective than shopping when it comes to e-commerce but still a very very powerful traffic source to try out and now we come to number three with which is display and also youtube i want to kind of mix that because here it's quite similar first of all it is way easier to make your first sales with shopping and with search okay so you shouldn't really dive into display and youtube before you tried these two whether you have been successful with them or not but the point is most of the time they will work better for you now if you decide you know i want to go into display and youtube i want to try that out then you still need a bigger budget than on search and shopping like 300 as a very low end is really really cheap for these because you have to test a lot of ads you have to test placements, you have to test topics, audiences. And what I recommend to do when you test both on display and on YouTube is that you test all these things at the same time. So let's say you create one campaign with four ad groups where one of them targets placements, one targets this interests or, or topics, one targets an audience and one targets, you know, something else, right? So you have these four things and then in all ad group, in each ad group, you still have like two, three, four in individual ads. So in order to get some really statistically significant results, you need to spend quite a bit of money. And this is also very important because other than on search and on shopping, where you have this clear buying intent, you are just hoping that you have the right audiences when it comes to display on YouTube. So you're just saying, okay, these people might be interested because of this and that, so you have to find out if that's actually the case. You have to find out how to get them to your site at the cheapest rate, how to actually get the right audience, how to make them buy. There is so much testing involved. Almost never will you find like a display ad that works right away. Normally you spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars because before something works, it's not uncommon to spend $1,000 or more. However, the good thing is in the next step, once you find something that works, display and YouTube are very scalable. So search traffic is of course limited. You have 10,000 people looking for something a month. And after that, after you have like exhausted all of that, you have to somehow expand into other search queries, right? On display and, and, and YouTube, you can just go to placements. You can target more and more people that are like these people. You can enlarge your placements. And if these people are still similar, chances are that with a great ad, a great offer, you can still get more and more and more customers. So shopping and search, good to get started with fairly high bits, but you also need a fairly small budget simply because you should see sales earlier. Display YouTube, typically you spend a little less per click, like 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, something like that, depending on your niche, but you need way, way more clicks and way more testing before you find something that works. So even though it's cheaper on the click level, you normally need a higher budget because you need so many clicks, so many impressions. Here, I don't recommend to get started with any less than $1,000, really. Sky is almost the limit here. Like if you have 2K, 3K, that's also great because it means you can test a lot at once, right? So that's really important for you guys to know. If you want to really dive seriously into display ads, don't bother like creating one quick image ad, testing one audience or two, and then let, letting it run. You need those combinations. You need a lot of different things. Find out which works, and then you can scale this to the moon. But for that, you need the budget, as I said. So my hierarchy is shopping at the very top. Try that first high bits, but you don't need those massive budgets because you should see sales somewhat quickly, then search, you know, similar as shopping, but slightly less effective for e-commerce, then display YouTube, kind of whatever makes more sense in your case, whether like you have an interesting product where you can make a great video for, or display where it's more like, you know, actual images and stuff. You have to find this out for yourself. This is just the hierarchy. If you have a low budget, start with shopping. If you have a massive budget, you can also try all things at once, of course, but I hope that this quick video on the cost of Google Ads and the different Google Ad products was helpful for you. If it was, then please leave a like below this video and subscribe to this channel for more Google Ads and e-commerce content. If you want to learn more, check out the link in the description where you find my free DAC framework video. It's a one hour video on how to crush your competitors with Google Ads. Um, as I said, entirely free, one hour video, you will learn you know, what makes a great keyword, a great ad, how to get people to your site, how to make them convert, all condensed in one big, large video. So I hope you will check that out and I hope that I will see you in the next video again, guys. So until then, I wish you all the best and bye-bye.